Come on, all the way through. Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So it is a Friday, February 9th at 9.17 a.m. And if you know me, you'll be like, Olivia, why are you awake that early? And I know that that's not early for most people, but that's early for me, okay? In order to currently be on the road at 9.17 a.m., I had to wake up at 8.15, but not really because I snoozed my alarm, so I really woke up at 8.25, but I attempted to wake up at 8.15, okay? So why am I up so early? Well, this weekend I have a track meet, but the meet is in Windsor. I am not driving my car all the way to Windsor, but essentially I'm driving to meet my team and then we're gonna like take like a coach bus to Windsor. So essentially I'm gonna drive my car, park it overnight, and then compete tomorrow. So, it is a two-day meet. The meet does begin today, and then it continues tomorrow on Saturday. However, they scheduled women's long jump and women's triple jump on the same day. Like, if you have a two-day meet, the least you could do is split up events that you know has crossover. Like, a lot of long jumpers are also triple jumpers. So it's like, why would you put both of them on the same day? Like, it's one thing if it's a one-day meet. So every event has to happen on one day. I get that. But this is a two-day meet, and you didn't feel the need to split that up? Because the thing is, they did it for men. Men have triple jump today and long jump tomorrow. But they, they couldn't do that for the women? But you know what? It is what it is. So I'm doing two events, but they're both on the same day. So I don't compete until tomorrow, but some people are competing today so obviously the whole team is driving up today so yes i'm parking my car getting on the bus and making my way to windsor so majority of this vlog is going to take place tomorrow but i just wanted to film this little clip as proof that i woke up early pat on the back i'm proud of me and yeah now i have video evidence look hold on look at that 9 20 a.m and olivia henry is awake so yeah the next clip you see might be like a little cribs tour of the hotel that we're staying at but yeah i'll see you in about five or six hours when i'm in windsor <laughs> Okay, it is several hours later and I've done a terrible job of vlogging. So essentially, I got on the bus, we went to an en route, had some food, then we actually went straight to the track because the rooms weren't ready at the hotel. Then we came to the hotel just to drop off our stuff and then we had to go back to the track because people were gonna be competing. So I would say we got to the track around three we checked into the hotel around 4.30 and then by 5.30 we were back at the track. And now it's midnight, so it's technically Saturday now. <laughs> and we got back to the hotel, went out for dinner, came back to the hotel, my teammates and I, we played some card games, specifically Uno. <laughs> and then I showered and now I'm in bed. So I know that I didn't show much of that, but... I'm trying to make this more of like just a track vlog. I don't know if you wanna see stuff we do during our off time, 
but for now I'm just filming what's happening at the track mainly what I'm doing at the track so I was at the track today for maybe like five hours but other people were competing and I don't necessarily like have their permission to put them in this vlog you know what I'm saying so yeah I didn't compete at all today today was pretty much just a travel day get settled in all that stuff but I will be competing tomorrow I'm supposed to leave the hotel at 9 30 but there's also a discrepancy with space because we have the bus but then we also have a van and the van is only a seven seater but if you include me there's eight people that need to be at the track at 11 30 including coaches so like the competition starts at 11 30 but we're gonna leave the hotel at 9 30 to give us time to warm up and everything so there's several athletes who have to compete at 11 30 and then their respective coaches like you need the throws coach the jumps coach the sprint coach etc etc so when you factor in athletes and coaches there's not enough space technically <laughs> but i suppose it will get sorted in the morning but yeah it is late it's 11 25 a.m 11 20 it's 12 25 a.m and i'm gonna go to bed now i will see you in the morning actually one more thing after the meet last weekend my knee started acting up and i've never had knee problems ever and now all of a sudden i'm 25 years old and my knees want to act up anywho so my right knee has been bothering me since last week saturday and today i had a couple of ats look at it so i had one of the student ats from this year she was there so i asked her to take a look at my knee and then she wanted a second opinion so then it just so happens that one of the people who was the student AT for last season, she now goes to a different school, but that school is also competing in Windsor this weekend. So she happened to be there. So then she got a second opinion from an AT that I know from last year. Anywho, they both looked at my knee and said that I probably shouldn't compete tomorrow. Well, technically today, cause it's after midnight, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm stubborn, so I'm probably still gonna. So yeah, <laughs> I don't have high expectations for tomorrow. If I do decide to compete, like if you're watching this vlog, then I decided to compete, <laughs> okay? So <laughs> if I do decide to compete, I'm not expecting big numbers, but like I'm still gonna compete anyways because I got driven all the way here. And also this meet is like a university, like it's supposed to be like university only. And my coach had to request for me to get a spot in this meet because I'm not a university student. So basically we had to jump through a couple of hoops to get me in and then also travel all the way here and then not compete like no, I'm competing. Like let's say hypothetically I jumped well enough to make finals, then that would be six triple jumps and six long jumps in one day, which would be a lot with a hurt knee. So even if I don't do all 12 jumps, I'm still gonna do some jumps. Even if I do like four of each or three of each, whatever, I'm not gonna come all the way here and not do anything. So yeah, now I will see you in the morning. <laughs> good morning it is 9 2 a.m i woke up about half an hour ago we got the van situation figured out so for a woman's long jump there's two flights like you know how in races you have heats so whenever there's like too many people for a field event they'll put you into flights so like everyone from flight one will get three jumps and then everyone from flight two will get three jumps and then they'll take the top eight from both flights combined and then those eight people will get three more jumps so today i'm in flight two which means even though women's long jump starts at 11 30 i'm not going to start competing at 11 30. a different set of girls will so essentially there's going to be a van that goes up at 9 30 i'm not on that one and then i'm going to be in the van that's leaving the hotel at 10. so i have an hour to be ready which is fine because i know exactly what i'm going to wear it's going to be my uniform <laughs> as for my knee 
I haven't really done anything yet. I've just been lying in this bed for the past half hour. So I don't know how it feels. I'll know during my warm up, but yeah, I'll see you at the track. It's 1019 and I don't think I'm gonna start competing until around noon or at least I'm not even gonna get on the runway until noon because what's gonna happen is flight one is gonna get like some runway checks and stuff and then they're supposed to start at 1130. They might finish at about 12 but then they have to give flight two runway checks so then we might not start till 1230. I don't really know the time frame it's very weird when there's flights like at the meet last week it was at york and york has multiple runways so they were able to run both flights at the same time but at this facility they only have one runway so you have to go one and then the other and then the final so yeah it's like kind of weird to gauge about when to warm up because of flights but yeah so since my knee has been bothering me i'm going to get my knee taped and also i've always had like ankle issues ankle instability so i'm gonna get my ankle taped as well and then when i feel like the time is right then i'm gonna start warming up and yeah we'll go from there you're in flight two, correct? Yeah, so you still have to take into consideration flight one. Come on, all the way through. Okay, long jump is over. I did not make a final, <laughs> which I figured I wouldn't. Um, my best jump of the day was 522. So my jumps in order was 485, where I did not touch the board at all, and then 510 and then 522. Considering I jumped three centimeters more than last week, and like my knee started hurting after I finished competing last week. So last week when I was competing, my knee was fine, but I jumped worse. So it's like the point is I can still be relatively consistent with a bum knee. So I'm actually like five twenty two is not good for me, but like <laughs> I'm not mad at today. I'm actually happier than I thought I was gonna be. So I'm I'm really not mad at it. I have triple jump in about an hour and a half. It's about two o'clock right now triple jump is at 3 30. i don't know if i'm going to do all my jumps assuming i make the final i don't know if i'm going to do all six jumps i need to see how my knee feels i might do one jump and then call it quits i don't know because triple jump is a lot more impact than long jump so i don't know i'm just gonna play it by ear see how i feel i'm not gonna injure myself or yeah, i guess <coughs> injure myself more than i already am so if it doesn't feel good i'm not gonna do it but um, yeah, I will see you for triple jump. Triple jump is over. I did not make finals. This is the first time in like a year that I haven't made a triple jump final. <laughs> um, so I'm very disappointed in that. So my first jump was 1099 and I was being very tentative because of my knee, but then it didn't hurt. So I was like, okay, let's go. Did my next jump, it was a fault. And then my last jump, I was like, I gotta get one in because I'm not in the top eight. And I literally toe faulted. I'm talking like one centimeter fault. And, um, Sorry, I'm trying to leave and vlog at the same time. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so I literally toe faulted. And that jump, if it counted, would have been enough for the final because the cutoff was 1140, which is not really, like, that's a jump I, 
like um, even on a bad day I jump 11.40 <laughs> so yeah I just was faulting today and so I didn't make the final um, and so we're leaving because my event was the last event it wasn't supposed to be but triple jump started super late it was supposed to start at 3.30 and the second flight didn't start until um, 5.30 so we were running like two hours behind and the girls who made the final are still jumping. But anywho, we're all the way in Windsor and we have to get all the way back to Toronto. So we have to leave. So that was my day. I only did six jumps, three in long, three in triple. Usually I would do 12 jumps in a day because I'd do six in both. But I don't know, we move. There's still another meet next week. Um, there's multiple meets, like one is in Ottawa one is in Toronto. I don't know which one I'm going to be at. But, um, yeah. So, that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Monday. Thank you to my channel members and be sure to check out one of these suggested videos. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video.